Hello everyone, my name is Cindy and welcome back to my channel. For today's pick a card, we are going to find out any type of surprises, unexpected events and blessings from the universe that will be coming to your life pretty soon enough. So this is super exciting. Now talking about blessings and surprises from the universe, I just recently created a video about law of attraction topic where I share about why is it so important for us to go through a personal growth or slash spiritual transformation because self-healing and finding closure you know within ourselves is really important. I have went through this experience so I thought that I would make a video in hopes that it can help you if you you know resonate with it. So in that other channel at Amorinet I often create artsy painting videos because I am an artist and yes this is my painting while while I also like to share topics of spirituality, personal growth, and so forth. And even, you know, recently, <laughs> I even created a love spell video. So yeah, that was really, really exciting. And I was just super excited to post that video. So yeah, if you want to check it out, you can always check out. The link is down below. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, if you would like to connect with me on my Instagram at Amorinet as well, all complete information is down below and if you are also interested in purchasing or ordering a commission art piece from me you can also do so you can always contact me and check out my website to get to know more about my art because I do accept intuitive art pieces for example I would personally connect with your spirit guides and higher self and then see whatever type of vision or image that is you know good for your energy the things that you actually need to focus on and then I would translate that into a piece of painting that is special just for you so if you are interested you can always email me so with that being said let's get on to the reading all right so we are going to do something a little bit different today so instead of picking a pile this is going to be pick a deck i've never done this before and i have to say i personally don't really you know i guess enjoy this type of thing but you know we'll, we'll just try something different right we'll just put in something fresh into the channel so please do let me know if you like this id so obviously i am going to shuffle each of this pile and uh, not pile sorry each of this deck life okay so here we have pile <laughs> i keep saying pile we have deck number one the work your light oracle deck and then deck number two this is the angel therapy and then deck number three the moonology and last one deck number four the magical unicorn deck oh my gosh it keeps slipping away and each of these decks i put some unique items as well to help you choose with number one we have this rose pins number two we have seashells number three this red thread and last one number four is this amethyst crystal and i don't know why <laughs> the fourth deck keeps like slipping away like this oh my gosh okay let me like mm. so you don't have to worry if you feel like oh picking a deck is kind of like limiting the spectrum of the information so not to worry okay so of course you have to use your own intuition and discern the information yourself so go ahead pause this video and pick your deck So hello there deck number one now before we start i also would like to do something a bit different and that is by using my art to represent the type of energy that we are channeling so for today i am showing you these two digital painting illustrations of my characters and these two would be representing the energy that is coming into your life that is you know any type of energy that maybe you are tapping into which is of course about love romance passion connection and of course this has to do with self-love and self-care as well so as you can see in the painting there is this couple they are my original characters in this you know very romantic delicate garden with all of this 
you know, beautiful, bright, vibrant color. So that is overall the type of energy that I feel that is going to come into your life. And you can also see two blue butterflies, which often represent twin flame or a soulmate connection. So straight away, I am sensing that there is a possible strong soulmate or even a twin flame, you know, a connection that will be coming into your life. Other than that, I also have to say the surprises from the universe is, of course, about your own growth, about your own empowerment. And also on the other second illustration, you may see this really beautiful lady holding herself, like holding her chest. This is about self-healing that is, you know, focusing more on the energy of love and compassion itself for oneself, okay? Definitely personal growth and empowerment. So yeah, with that being said, we are going to get started with the cards and I would truly love to know your opinion as well. Do you like it if I use, you know, creative outlets and try different things and just, you know, bring more fresh and new and creative things into the channel because me being an artist, I think it's really awesome that we can use art as a creative tool. So now let's shuffle in the cards and let's get more additional guidance. Oh, oh my gosh. So there are a lot of cards <laughs> that just jump away and let me get them first. Oh no. Come here. They literally fell on the floor. Okay. So, a lot of cards that fell on the floor, so I'm going to reshuffle that. At least here, we have a first card. This is Star Mother. <laughs> How can you mother yourself? How beautiful. Like I was talking about self-love, self-empowerment, uh, compassion as well. So the big changes and surprise that will be ha happening into your life pretty soon enough is you finding the answers to your own life. This could be also a spiritual awakening about learning who you really are, what you really are, because I feel for a lot of you, you are star seeds, you are a powerful light worker, and you have a, a very beautiful defined mission here in this planet Earth at this very specific timeline. So you are going to receive a lot of guidance, support, synchronizing events, and just a lot of crazy, amazing things happening into your life so suddenly, so surprisingly, which would lead you into that spiritual path of your life mission, whether you are doing it alone or you are also, uh, you are going to do it also together with a soulmate, okay, with a possible soulmate connection. So maybe for some of you, you will be meeting somebody that can you know, get into a relationship with you and basically be a power couple. I sense that for a lot of you, if you do resonate with the love message, like with, with a soulmate, with a possible soulmate coming into your life, I feel that you are going to do something creative. You are going to create something together with that person. So here we have Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. So, oh my gosh, see what I was just talking about, you finding your answers, you finding your own purpose, and really finally understanding what type of soul mission that you actually have. And if you are not really aware in the spiritual community, there is this very esoteric term that's called the Akashic Record. And basically the Akashic Record is like this whole universal library where all data, all information about every single living being, about every single existent soul in this universe, in this universe is being stored in that library. So all of the past lifetimes and the parallel realities that you have, all of lessons, all of karma, all soul ties, all relationships, all connections, all friendships, literally every single freaking detail about your soul 
is their store in the Akashic Record. And a lot of times recently in the spiritual community, people have been trying to find ways and through meditation and many other things to tap into that Akashic Record to get a better understanding about who and what they really are and understand what is it that you actually need to do in this lifetime. And I see that this is the big surprise that's going to happen in your life, okay? Now, again, if you do resonate, if you truly believe that there is love coming, then the really crazy thing about this is that for whatever reason, you are going to experience like all of this transformative changes, events in your life true synchronizing events that will lead you to your soulmate because in that soulmate connection, that's when you are going to experience that trigger, that spiritual awakening that will finally bring you these answers. So it's almost like for some of you, okay, you are meant to be together with this specific soulmate in a good, positive, balanced connection so that you both can do your life mission together. So this is definitely the ultimate, you know, image of a power couple. Oh my gosh, we have the ever unfolding rose and how wonderful that I decided to use this two rose hairpins to represent this first deck. So the ever unfolding rose, it says crack open, it's happening for you, not to you. So whatever type of lessons or any, you know, not so nice things that's been happening for you in the past, you just have to heal and let it go. Even though it takes time, okay? This type of thing takes time. Healing, forgiveness, compassion, moving on, all of these crazy harsh lessons in life, it doesn't happen overnight. I totally get it. But I see that you are going to move away from whatever that's toxic and finally get into this better state of life where you finally attract and meet your soulmate, whether you will find them or that they will find you, okay? This can be just vice versa. And the ever unfolding rose is, of course, about love. The blossoming of a new love, a fresh new start, a new chapter in your love life as well. And again, remember, of course, your own self-love, your own self-care. So a lot of big changes, definitely. And I do feel that a lot of this energy is symbolizing a soulmate connection and also a spiritual awakening within you. So we have you are already doing it. See, I was just talking about, you know, you having to like deal or forgive some people or some situation and just basically finish any type of karma and cut ties from anyone or any situation that is toxic. I do see that you are already doing it and this is just a confirmation that your spirit guides applaud you for it. They truly do support you in this journey. They're very proud of you and they want you to keep on going, okay? To keep moving forward. Oh my gosh. Look at this, Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. It's crazy how this card is also talking about it's happening for you, not to you. And then on this Lemuria card, we have another word that talks about it's happening, happening, something happening, something is going to happen. So like I said, if this is truly about love for you, those who are resonating with that, then you have to just stay optimistic and positive because it's coming. Oh, look at that. Council of Light, divine orchestration and helpers in the subtle realms. You are definitely being watched over and guided by your spirit guides and the spirit guides of your soulmate as well. You both are being watched over and basically the universe is orchestrating for this connection to happen, for this union to happen between you and that person. The age of light, you have been training for this for a lifetime. See what I was talking about, you being a powerful light worker. And if this is about love as well, then you are going to meet your person who's going to be a power couple with you. You are going to teach and inspire a lot of people through spiritual work. Mirror, oh my gosh, talking about soulmate as well and 
definitely the possible of a twin flame journey here. This is really wonderful. I really love this card. So overall, this energy is focusing on love and compassion of yourself and also with somebody. Ooh, you and your person definitely are star seeds. I did say this from the very beginning, right? We have Pleiades, double mission, mission <laughs> talking about power couple, right? Double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. I believe that whatever type of connection has its own purpose, you know, whether you stay as friends or whoops, or business partners or lovers or whatever. But in this particular situation for you, I do feel a lot of you is going to end up with this person as lovers, as best friends, and as a, a business partner as well, all at the same time. And the cards are acting a little bit crazy right now and jumpy, so you will be experiencing quite a lot of surprising sudden events that might seem so out of the blue and random and it's just like what the hell i would never thought of that i would never ever thought of that but it's happening keepers of the earth you are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you like i said you are very much being watched over and guided, okay? So that is what I'm seeing about the big changes coming into your life and of course, a surprising new love. Oh, and I'm so sorry, I also almost forgot to say that if you are in a relationship now, this can just mean that this relationship is going to go to another whole level of commitment and you might as well be uh, receiving some type of signs or trigger awakening where you and your person will realize that oh my gosh apparently you are my soulmate you know something like that so i see that this is already taking the process it's just about time that things will finally unfold and basically fall onto your lap so that's your reading let me know down below in the comments and i will see you soon Okay, so moving on to deck number two with the seashells. So I'm also trying out something a bit different since I am an artist myself. Here I am showing you an art piece, an illustration that is focusing on the energy that is going to come into your life. So I personally see art as a tool of creativity, of intuition as well, you know, of spirituality. And this is an art piece that I created where I feel like you are going to resonate with the energy or at least that this illustration would have the colors, the symbolism and signs that is representing what type of energy that you are about to tune in, okay? So this is just a personal self-portrait actually, where as you can see, I am using the Metatron's cube, okay, on this illustration. So for quite a lot of you, I do sense that you are or that you will be connecting well with the Archangel, uh, the yeah Archangel Metatron, which quite a lot of people say that Metatron is actually a seraphim angel. So it's... um. Uh, you can say like in the angel hierarchy, seraphim is a very powerful, high, super high vibrational archangels, or I think it's more than archangel, but then again, you know, it's just a term. Either way, I do sense that you will be working or that you are going to feel the presence and the support from this angel. And Metatron works a lot with indigo children, with star seed, light worker people that has a lot about communication, creativity, and expression as well. Metatron is very, very powerful and this angel really loves to work with people who are you know, very authentic, who have a very strong personality. <laughs> and I really, you know, love this 
Metatron cube and all of this energy and theory about this angel because I personally do connect with Metatron and it said that Metatron is one of the powerful angels that is actually looking after me or at least working together close with me. So for some of you watching as well, I feel that you might have a blue or purple or turquoise, 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 turquoise aura color. And yeah, so do let me know how do you feel about this, you know, art, artsy creative channeling so far. And if you are interested to know more about my art, you can always check out my website and Instagram. So with that being said, this is definitely a spiritual transformation that you will be experiencing. That is the big changes that you can definitely expect, okay, that is going to come into your life. If you are watching this in the year 2020, then damn, this year is going to be big for you in terms of spiritually and personal growth wise, okay? Now, when it comes to this deck, I did choose this because I feel that for you, you are going to experience a lot of healing journey or that you are already in the healing process because I am using, as you can see, this angel therapy oracle deck so in the recent past you might have been experiencing some toxic relationship or situations and now you are leaving those things behind you are really learning the lesson okay vegetarian slash vegan this is definitely about your lifestyle the big changes that you need to do that you need to start yourself is definitely your lifestyle or exercise okay this can mean lifestyle exercise the way you you eat and diet for example and i am sensing the message that you should try out intuitive eating it can be very beneficial very good for your body for your physical body for the effect of your mental and emotional state as well so you can of course do your own research but i do see that by changing you know making that change yourself this is going to improve your life and you will definitely bring more energy of abundance prosperity wealth and so forth here we have visualize success <laughs> i really love this so you are going to experience and be receiving a lot of blessings and surprising changes in terms of your wealth or your career okay you are going to be attracting a lot of abundance opportunities and prosperity in general as well but a lot of it is focusing on your own personal growth and also on your own career which is really amazing but the really important message is that if you do want to experience these blessings because I do see a lot of surprising changes coming into your life. Well, you have to start change it yourself, okay? It starts with you, yourself first. And what I see, what you can do, it starts here with a healthy uh, lifestyle, diet, or exercise. Because remember, everything is energy. If you, if you change, even when you exercise, that is a form of energy movement right and when the energy is moving and it's dynamic and it's really active then that would be the type of energy that you attract as well which is a lot of dynamic which is a lot of flow in terms of your prosperity wealth and abundance so here we have workshops and seminars so this again confirms whatever type of thing that you need to change or that you want to learn more like i said do your own research then if you find workshops or any type of submit seminars whether it's in real life or online that can be helpful for you then go ahead check it out attend it now this also at the same time means that maybe for some of you you will be learning that part of your life purpose is to become a teacher an influencer an entrepreneur or a what do you call a motivational speaker a public speaker as well whether online maybe you want to do youtube for example you want to do blogging you want to have your own website for example anything that is in that area i do see that that is what you are going to do or 
you are going to attend okay either way take only whatever resonates now when it comes to the what type of workshop itself i see what can really benefit for uh, for you is of course workshops about health workshops about positive lifestyle or personal growth and stuff like that now others of you i feel that there is this specific message that you may be called to attend a health yoga meditation wellness type of trip or a seminar somewhere out there at the tropical land maybe even in bali as well which is the wonderful super popular tourist island that is in my country so you can you know start guessing if you're curious where i am living at <laughs> so for some of you you may be actually going there you may as well go to bali Oh, oh my gosh, this is crazy because I just realized that I felt very drawn to use seashells to represent your pile and talking about tropical land, Bali as well, about the beach, right? So yeah, you, you might as well, yeah, for a lot of you, you might as well go there or that you are already planning to go. So this is confirmation that if you have been planning, then yes, 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 all the way, definite yes, go ahead, okay? Go forward, go for it. So this is definitely a blessing and a surprising event that would come into your life for your own healing journey, for your own, you know, therapy, uh, therapy, uh, what do you call, support? group something like that okay so here we have clear yourself talking about cutting away from toxic people and you know changing your lifestyle and so on here we have clear yourself ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed and last but not least we have listened to your intuitive feelings so one of the big changes and blessings that you will be experiencing is that if you do go to some type of workshop or the wellness, uh, what do you call, retreat, ah, there, there you go, a wellness retreat to Bali or anywhere tropical, and then you connect well with a group of people and with nature as well, that's when you will finally somehow suddenly get that spiritual trigger within your third eye, and that's when everything just burst right open like a pandora box and i see that for those of you who do plan to go out you will be meeting your soul family and there you go earth angel you are a light worker you are a true healer and you will be meeting more people new friends soul family soul brother soul sister soul mates that is of the same uh you know energy group that is earth angels light workers star seed indigo people you will be meeting a lot of them and you will be working together and supporting each other this is wonderful i definitely sense a huge beautiful family energy here heart chakra oh my gosh talking about healing about therapy right this is wonderful this is truly a time of change and a blessing from the universe that you can finally be who you really are and not be ashamed so that is why you need to change it first within yourself starting from something as simple as exercising even though it may it may not sound simple but you know what i mean right you can definitely start there because once you do so you will gain the confidence to be who you really are because you do need to go out there into the world with your most authentic self and so tap into your sacral chakra see about expression creativity the sacral chakra is the second chakra which is about birth creation creativity passion expression authenticity wonderful be willing to forgive yep <laughs> these cards are crazy you can see it for yourself right it is confirming of whatever toxic situation that you have been experiencing in the past you gotta let that damn shit go you don't deserve it because you deserve something better so any more big surprises changes please oh you definitely have a spirit guide guiding you a, sp a spirit animal guiding you and watching over you so 
with some of these cards that talks about nature or environment, you know, the world, nature, animal in general, maybe you are an env environmentalist or maybe that you just care a lot about the world, nature, animals. My gosh, this is crazy. You can see it for yourself. Look at this. You are a powerful light worker. What I was just talking about. So surprise, surprise, you will definitely meet your soul tribe. And you are going to go through this spiritual journey with those people and do your life mission. I don't know what else to say. This is crazy wonderful. You, you are going to see a lot of transformative changes in your own personal life as well, for sure. Fairies, wow, a lot of nature energy. Oh, and look at this. Earth angel, fairies. So you really do connect well with Mother Earth, with Gaia's energy. That is part of your life purpose. Oh my gosh, again, Archangel Raphael, the Archangel of Healing. Wow, so Archangel Raphael and Archangel Metatron, those two are the powerful angels that you gotta work on together because it is the combination of healing, expression, creativity, growth, knowledge, spirituality, and empowerment all in once, okay? All in one package. So that is what is going to come into your life and you will be seeing a lot of science and synchronizing events as well. This is a lot about like the hermit, you know, if you know in tarot, major arcana card, you are in this hermit mode. But remember, the hermit is not lonely. Alone doesn't mean lonely. You're just in this journey alone right now but you will be meeting all of these amazing people that you will resonate with so, so well. Wow, big changes coming. A lot of blessings. Surprise, surprise. Some of the people that you already know in your life right now, they might as well actually be your soulmates or soul brother slash sister, okay? So it's going to be surprising, but really exciting for sure. I'm, I'm very excited for you, seriously. I, I love this energy so much. Wow, we have a lot of cards here. So you are profoundly clairvoyant. Look at this. Oh, and we have mermaids in this bubble talking about the ocean and the beach, right? You are clairvoyant. You are a powerful light worker. Release, again, you need to release anything that is not working out for you, any toxic manipulative friendship, relationship. You don't have to deal with this anymore because if you keep being stuck here, then that is the energy that you, you know, that you associate with basically. So definitely you don't want that. Cut your cords. I don't know what else to say. Oh my gosh, God box. This is Pandora box. What I was just talking about Pandora box, right? I mentioned that Pandora box, crystals. You, oh my gosh, you are a very powerful earth light worker. You do connect well with nature energy. Maybe you want to collect crystals or maybe you do need to. Cancel clear delayed again here with Archangel Michael telling you to cut out any toxic relationships, books, talking about knowledge, right? Talking about workshops and seminars. Oh my gosh. You are meant to teach or inspire people through your work, through your expression, through your words. Like I said, you may be an entrepreneur, a blogger, YouTuber, basically everything that has to do with expression, with speech, and definitely creativity. Wow, wonderful. <laughs> I love it. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below in the comments, okay? And I will be back. Hello there, deck number three. So we are going to start with something exciting and creative as well. So I just want to, you know, bring in something more creative and a little bit different into my channel because I am an artist myself and I do find that art is a powerful creative tool 
of intuition or spirituality as well to channel energies so as you can see here i am now showing you these two illustrations of my characters to represent the type of energy that is coming or showing up in your life okay so this is definitely a very symbolic pieces as well from the universe from your spirit guides about the things that you need to pay attention to so as you can see with these two illustrations the guy is Ademos and the girl is Calastis and as you can see they have this very you know out of the world fantasy vibe but there is something very mysterious both mystical magical but dark and even scary as well so it's not a coincidence that when i channeled you know this deck and i saw that i should use these two illustration to represent your energy or what's going to come into your life and here we are using the monology oracle deck i see that a lot of big changes it's going to be very significant into your life that has to do about you learning some type of hidden truth, some type of secret. It could be about a person, for example, maybe somebody was lying, maybe you just know it. You just know it in your intuition, you know it in your gut feeling. Somebody it was being manipulative, somebody was for, uh, wearing a false mask, for example, and you will be really seeing who they truly are. You will be learning people's true expression, people's true voices, basically. And at the same time, this is also talking about you working through your own fear, you tapping into your own shadow side. Because as you can see with the night, uh, with the night sky here in, in the girl's illustration, even though the night is dark, but it's beautiful. You can see all the galaxies and the stars and the moon as well. It's just beautiful, right? So you will find your own inspiration, your answers, and on and on and so forth in terms of darkness. And again, remember, darkness doesn't have to be about something that's negative or evil or bad. So for some of you, you may be going through a dark night of the soul, but there is going to be a lot of such positive and beautiful, wonderful changes. But some of the surprising things that will come into your life is definitely you learning about some people. Definitely about a situationship and a friendship. That is what I am sensing for the majority of you, okay? Now, let's begin with the cards. And since I was being very called to use this red thread to represent your pile, I do sense that you may be experiencing or about to experiencing a twin flame journey. Or at least you can say a very powerful, deep and spiritual soulmate connection okay a very strong bond that is obviously unbreakable no one and nothing can severe that connection so let's take a look at what is going on what's coming into your life okay we have don't let pride get in your way we were just talking about the ego the fear right and working through that shadow side of you this can be about you or it can also be about somebody or some people around you in your life okay don't let pride get into your way of course obviously about don't let ego get the best of you you control the ego you don't have to kill your ego no 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 you don't have to but you do have to control it and here we have nothing will come out of this situation so this is about that if you wallow in too much of negative and pessimistic thinking or if you feel really bad or low about yourself and you're not making the necessary changes and step-by-step -step changes you know to improve yourself or your own life then nothing will come out of this not nothing good will happen nothing good will change so whatever changes that you expect of course it has to start within you yourself next one <clears throat> we have oh luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius i love this so much so for whatever it is that you are going through right now or about to go through just remember luck guidance and support is on your way now let's see what type of blessings and surprises that will be coming into your life 
what type of surprises and blessings that will come into your life. Let's focus on that. So we have be bold and make the first move. Meditate and contemplate. So yeah, I I do feel that you pile number three or I mean deck or <laughs> you know, basically my audience, my viewers who pick number three, I feel that you are or you have been dealing with a lot of situations. Just a lot of situations because I am getting so many mixed information here. It's about friendship, about a crush situation, about the relationship that you are in right now, about family issues, about past trauma, about insecurity issues as well, maybe about you being confused or conflicted of where you should go in your life, what choices you should make, what type of career should you choose, you know, there's just a lot of things. But this is really powerful, you know, these three cards, as you can see, meditate and contemplate. What is it that you really want to go after? What is it that you want to manifest in your life? Do not let pride or slash ego get in your way and so be bold and make the first move. You have to seize the day. You have to seize that opportunity. Time is very precious and it doesn't wait for anybody. So as long as you do your best, you keep showing up, okay? This is about you showing yourself, you showing up there. You, I mean, you showing out there, up there in the world, in the sky as well, for being a very expressive and creative person. Because I feel that for some of you, you are a very idealistic and dreamy type of person, but dreams do need a practical plan as well. So we need to balance between being you know, dreamy and also being practical as well so that we can actually be successful by turning those dreams into reality. I myself as an artist, oh my gosh, let me tell you how fucking high my head can be up in the clouds. No, not even the clouds. My head is all the way up there in the moon and the stars. <laughs> and sometimes it's kind of hard for me to get grounded. So it's not a coincidence as well that I felt very drawn to use this Moonology deck for you because there is a lot of ethereal, esoteric, astral energy, which is very wonderful. You are very much tapped into the divine. You are very much tapped into the darkness energy. But here's the thing. Another message is that the changes you will be experiencing is that if people have been misunderstanding you, people will finally start to see who you are and respect you okay oh my gosh look at that surrender to the divine full moon again the moon this is about your authentic self this is about your shadow side but light as well you know i personally would legit symbolize myself as the moon like literally the moon 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 moon, moon. <laughs> because i go through a lot of phases in life both in my you know, expression, my emotions, my relationship experiences, but all throughout those phases, you experience a lot of things and a lot of lessons that is very, very valuable. And by using the moon, having all of these phases, it's actually very much needed because that's when we would feel and experience all of the wonderful spectrums of life as a human in this lifetime. And a lot of times, people misunderstood that, oh, the night is scary, the night is negative and just you know, scary and dangerous, but no, the darkness, like I said, it's not something scary. It's just part of everything. There must be darkness and light. Again, darkness is not negative. Darkness is a part of us that we need to just be aware about. You cannot improve or even truly be spiritual if you don't want to face your own shadows, if you don't want to accept that darkness part of you. The dark can be beautiful, like I said. No, no wonder why I channeled that, you know, one of my illustration in the beginning of the girl in the night sky, because you can only see the stars, the galaxies, everything only at night time. 
the the nighttime or like, like I said the darkness reveals its deepest darkest truth and secrets and this is going to be the changes in your own life and the people around you okay that will be happening soon enough so as you come true to your own self your own authentic expression you will be learning more about yourself so what is it that you need to release <laughs> The ego, the fear, the anxiety. If you need professional help, if you need professional therapy, then go ahead and do it, of, of course, because there's no such thing as, oh, if you go ask for help, you're weak. That's shameful. No, 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 no. Do not ever listen to that. We are social creatures, okay? We humans need each other to survive. A win-win outcome is forecast. Okay, so... Now, when it comes to the surprising blessings that will come into your life, I definitely see this soulmate slash twin flame connection. You maybe feel drawn to deck number one as well with the pink one. This one, maybe you already watched that. So if you did, then do let me know. But if you haven't and you feel very drawn or called to watch that, then you can go ahead, give it a try and watch deck number one wow take a time to breathe out so if you have been in a very intense or basically like a misunderstanding or separation moment that you are experiencing with somebody special i see that that is going to come to an end soon so that is going to be a blessing right because you want whatever drama to end and I do see that it is ending and, rem and remember that luck is on your side now for some of you maybe you do need to cut out some people from your life and take a time out just take some time out from them for some of you you do need to talk it out remember be assertive a time for healing yeah right see take a time out time for healing this is definitely a blessing from the universe because a lot of changes will be happening in your life and you would need some time to like process it you know this is definitely going to resonate for those of you who are in a dark night of the soul um situation here in life bring love into the situation yeah see your hard work is paying off so whatever that you have been fighting for whether it's for a relationship a career or even for yourself your own self-love your self-empowerment it's happening this is a, such a true blessing from the universe from your higher self as well this is the change that you have been waiting for it's totally coming definitely emotions are running high adjustments are required this is going to resonate a lot for those of you who have been in a bad misunderstanding slash separation connection with somebody special whether you are you were in a relationship or that you are in a relationship or that you are in a situation whatever it is what type of connection you have with somebody special it's going to improve okay drama will end expect powerful change awesome love this so much but yeah adjustment doesn't mean that you have to over compromise yourself okay remember learn your lessons be assertive as well but be optimistic and positive about the changes that you are experiencing and the blessings that will come it's time to take action so this is really interesting see as you can see don't let pride get into your way be bold make the first move it's time to take action i feel that those messages would resonate more about your own career okay about your own goals and vision for your own life about what is it that you would like to attract and change in your own life for a better future it all starts with you this is about law of attraction so a lot of surprises that is going to affect your personal life you know it's more like yeah that, that's basically it <laughs> That's basically the message that I'm getting for you, okay? So I hope it brings you a lot of clarity and it resonates. Do let me know, okay, down below in the comments and I will be back. Hello there, last deck with the Amethyst. 
so for a lot of you I do immediately feel that you are going to resonate not resonate you are going to reconnect or connect with a soul tribe a soul family new friendships that will be very very positive healthy balanced and definitely supportive as well any type of toxic manipulative or just bad friendships it will finally fall away that is definitely the changes and the blessings that i am feeling okay and that i'm sensing for you now i also would like to you know do something different and as you can already see i am showing you a beautiful illustration here and this basically is a way of me to use my art as a creative tool of intuition and spirituality as well so with this illustration it basically symbolizes what type of you know energy what type of vibration that you are tuning in right now or that will be coming into your life right now so for deck number four i feel like this illustration is perfectly symbolizing the type of blessings changes and whatever it is that is represented into your life okay and this illustration i actually created like a few years ago and i made this as a christmas present for my mom and i think i called this painting the queen fairy of abundance or something so with that being said i'm also channeling that one of the big surprises blessings and changes into your life is about your own abundance in terms of wealth career your financial flow as well so you are going to be given just great opportunities and support as well like for example maybe you want to change jobs or you you want to have a, a better career or any type of ideas for example and you will be meeting the right people the right networking connections or maybe somebody that your friends know would be referring you to a better career option or that you plan to create a business a collaboration project with somebody that you really trust that is the type of blessings and changes that i'm definitely seeing coming into your life pretty soon enough okay so let's shuffle in the cards right now and get in some more guidance and messages so what surprises that for my audience who pick pile number four, not pile i mean deck number four can know what surprises and big blessings and changes can my audience expect and you know it's really interesting how i channel a lot of this fairy like energy and the art that i use to represent this is also a, a fairy queen and we are using the magical unicorn deck so there is definitely this very playful magical but really light you know energy like delicate energy that i am sensing here so that could be your energy or it could also represent somebody that will come into your life that has that energy and this can also represent new friendships that will be coming into your life so let's take a look at the cards that we have listen to your true feelings so right away this is about new people or friends that you will be meeting and those people are going to be the people that would truly listen to you they will respect you they will really really listen you and support you they're not going to judge you for whatever flaws that you have they really appreciate your authentic self laughter see what i was talking about a lot of this uh, <clears throat> is playful energy a lot of wonderful great friendships and new connections networking as well that might as well lead to some type of business or collaborations as well so that is really wonderful now let me take a drink first Ooh, i'm really damn thirsty <laughs> And then we have healer wow so if you have been dealing with something that was tough you are going to move on from it or this can also mean that you will become a healer for a lot of people either way you will be blessed by this like new friendships 
so you will be meeting your soul tribe your soul family where each one of you will be very supportive towards one and another hello and goodbye yeah see i was talking about you having to you know move away from any toxicity or at least if you have been dealing with something that's hurting you or toxic in the past it's going to get healed it's interesting how we see healer and then hello and goodbye so new chapter of course new beginnings simplicity this is the energy that you need to tap into you need to tap into the energy of just be simple for now don't basically it's about like don't overthink don't over plan it too far just off yet okay now for those of you when this is about career it would be really helpful for you to do journaling scripting writing a diary or whatever it is the point is just do any type of journaling or scheduling scheduling is that even word? do your own schedule okay write it out in bullet points list or whatever because it can really help you to improve and for you to actually be productive a very very strong message from your spirit guides that i'm hearing right now is that this is not about working hard but it's about working smart okay again working smart not working hard so the big changes and blessings that will come into your own career and financial situation is of course more wealth more prosperity but you need to change it first within your own life by organizing things in a better and simple way just by start doing journaling like as simple as that now if you are interested in law of attraction practices this is going to help you a lot so i highly recommend you to just watch a lot of videos and do your own research or just read whatever it is that can help you in terms of productivity personal growth and so forth if there are any books that you can find out there online or at the bookstore that can help about personal growth and business in general it will really help so you will be meeting people you will be receiving information and just help in general that will improve your career situation so far that is the energy that i'm picking up okay about the changes and blessings that will come exercise okay so Hmm, wait a minute ah okay so for some of you you may resonate with deck number two uh this one the angel therapy deck with this one i feel like you are going to resonate some of the messages there then again you don't have to only if you feel really called to then you can go ahead and check it out or maybe you already actually watch it either way i feel like you are going to resonate so exercise is a of course talking about lifestyle you do need to change your lifestyle if you you know your own life okay <laughs> you know your own life you know your own habits you know your own schedule the point is you know what to do you know what needs to change and so go ahead and make that first step even though it's out of your comfort zone but it all has to start with the first step oh look at this try something new see what i was talking about getting out of your comfort zone <laughs> i know i know it sucks and i know it might sound annoying that like no i you know i want my blessings like i want changes i i want things to happen but yeah i mean they are happening i i do literally see opportunities from the universe is already knocking on your door it's just about you opening up the door how is it it's going to come into your life if you're not opening up the door you know so it's up to you to yourself as well and what you do for yourself and in, in your own life as well you have to prove yourself to the universe that you are willing to accept it okay so let me take a drink again i'm super thirsty seriously pile number four some of you really need to connect more into yourself you may have been you know dealing with problems of self-expression or communication oh family culture oh this is about like, like i said connecting with your soul tribe connecting with your soul family like you know new friendships 
that's what's coming oh my gosh look at this brothers and sister what i was talking about happy surprises <laughs> talking about surprises okay so i i guess like it's very much obvious throughout this reading that the majority of the energy is that what's coming into your life is a happy surprise of new friendships business opportunities networking and just your own growth in career or financial situation in general okay you are gifted see i was talking about you needing to tap into your own energy more you needing to be more confident this is about your self-empowerment this is about your own expression you have to be more confident that you are skilled that you are gifted you deserve success teamwork <laughs> Yeah, for a lot of you, you will be collaborating with... Oh, that's too many cards. You will be collaborating with the right people, okay? You will be meeting them. That is your blessing. It's going to come by in a happy surprise, okay? It might come the least you expected. It's going to come. Happy surprise. And these changes will really help you improve your life. Share. Share your thoughts share your gift share your skills whatever it is whether it's just a hobby or literally anything okay anything that you have any type of skill any potential it's there within you for a purpose go ahead and share oh here try something new this is about you getting out of that comfort zone you need to believe in your gift so that you can truly share it out there into the world you have a big purpose here my darlings <laughs> show yourself out there oh my gosh talking about that <sighs> please 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 listen to frozen 2 soundtrack show yourself show yourself i'm dying to meet you yeah oh my gosh why am i singing <laughs> no way grand so this is definitely about you nurturing yourself you know and be be wise about your own choices because Ah, okay, I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting it. You, you're very wise. You have a lot of knowledge, but <laughs> you, you're not ready to share it. But your spirit guides is telling you, please share it out there. The world needs you. People needs you. You're a very rare, magical being with a unicorn here. Decide, decide what is it that you want. You already know what you want. <laughs> You're just scared. You're scared. I know I get it, but please get out there. Believe, <laughs> believe in yourself. Come on, these cards are not playing games. Believe in yourself, like what I was just talking about. Okay, last one, curiosity. See, be curious about life. Be curious about what's to come. Don't be too scared, okay? Believe in yourself more. So try something new can also represent that maybe if you want to try yoga, you want to try a diet or whatever it is that can improve your life, then go ahead and try, okay? You are very much connected to a very high spiritual realm. That is why here I pick the amethyst, uh, the amethyst crystal here. So it's not a coincidence at all. So for some of you, if you do need to boost up your confidence, and to tap in more to your psychic abilities, your spirituality and whatnot, go ahead and use crystals, okay? So that is your reading. I hope it brings you a lot of clarity and it helps. Let me know down below in the comments and I will be back.